In today's video, we will see 25 basic Excel formulas. The first one is sum. Over here, we have got quantity and rate. So first of all, we will have to take out the total of each item. I'll click over here, plus or equal to quantity into rate. Enter. I'll drag this down. Over here, we will do the sum and the formula will be plus or equal to sum bracket open. We will select from top to bottom. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. We will take this in center. And this is the grand total of all the items. Let's move to another formula. And this is sum if. Over here, we have got many items and few items got repeated. Laptop is over here, over here and over here also. Same with mouse and keyboards. Earlier, we had seen how to take out some of all the items. This time we will see how to take out some of individual items. Over here, I have got mouse and I have to take out some of mouse only. So the formula will be plus or equal to sum if bracket open range. So our range will be name of all the products, comma, criteria. Criteria is mouse. So I'll click over here. In case you want to type name of the item manually, you can, but you'll have to type name of the item in double inverted comma, comma, sum range. Total of all the items will be our sum range. Now we will close the bracket and we'll hit enter. So total sale of mouse is 49,200. If I'll add it individually, let's see what result we are going to get. Plus, this is mouse, plus, over here we have got mouse, enter. And the total is 49,200. I'll delete this, I'll type laptop over here. And total of laptop is 745,000. Let's move to another formula, product. Over here, we have got quantity and rate and we have to take out total. I'll click over here, plus or equal to product, bracket open, number one, quantity is our number one, comma, number two, rate is our number two, enter. So I got total of laptops. Now I'll drag it down or I'll select all and we'll press control D, grand total. Again, we are going to use sum, plus or equal to sum, bracket open, we will select from top to bottom. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. We'll take this in center. Let's move to another formula, max. Over here, we have to take out max of all the items, means quantity, rate, and total. What is the maximum quantity? What is the maximum rate? And what is the maximum total? So the formula will be plus or equal to max, bracket open. I'll select quantity from top to bottom. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. So 86 is maximum quantity in all the items, rate. Formula will be same, plus or equal to max, bracket open, we'll select rate, we'll close the bracket, enter. Total, plus or equal to max, bracket open, we'll select total of all the items, we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. Let's move to another formula and that is min or minimum. Just now we had seen max, we will see min now and the formula will be plus or equal to min means minimum, bracket open. We'll select quantity from top to bottom. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. So 15 is the minimum quantity of all the items. Rate plus or equal to min bracket open. We'll select rate of all the items. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. 600 total plus or equal to min bracket open. We'll select total from top to bottom. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. So 13,050 is the minimum of all the totals. Let's move to another formula, len. Through len, we can count how many number digits are there. And the formula will be plus or equal to len bracket open. We'll click on bill number. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. So there are total seven digits in first bill number. If I drag this down, we can see number digits all over. We can do the same thing with products also. I'll delete this plus or equal to len bracket open. We'll click on first product. We'll close the bracket, enter. So there are a total six numbers. We'll select this and we'll press control D. Let's move to another formula and that is count and count blank. Over here, we want to know how many number of employees received the salary and how many employees haven't received the salary. So the formula will be plus or equal to count bracket open. We will select from top to bottom. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. So seven employees received their salaries. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now we will see how many employees haven't received their salary. And the formula will be plus or equal to count blank, bracket open, we'll select from top to bottom, we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. So three employees haven't received their salaries, one, two, and three. 
let's move to another formula count a so we have to count all the numbers so i'll put plus or equal to count bracket open we'll select all the serial numbers we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter what will happen if we will select our range from here let's do it i'll delete this plus or equal to count bracket open i select all the names from top to bottom we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter we got zero so to count the numbers you'll have to use count i'll undo this and to count the names you'll have to use count a formula will be plus or equal to count a bracket open i'll select all the names from top to bottom we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter so total numbers are 10 and count of all names is only 8 two are missing let's move to another formula this is an attendance sheet of one week and we have to count total present and total absent and the formula will be plus or equal to count if bracket open range we will select from monday to sunday comma we have to count total present over here so we will type double inverted comma p double inverted comma close bracket close and we will hit enter so there are total seven present i'll drag this down total absent the formula will be plus or equal to count if bracket open range we will select our range comma double inverted comma a a is for absent double inverted comma close bracket close and we will hit enter so total zero absent for the first employee i'll drag this down perfect let's move to another formula average here i have got month wise sales and i have to take out average of each item sales so the formula will be plus or equal to average bracket open we will select from top to bottom means from january to december we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter so this is the average sales of laptop from january to december in case you want to remove decimal places go to home come in the center and click over here and decimals got removed now we can drag this to last item perfect let's see another formula over here we are going to see trim proper upper and lower i have got employee names over here but names are not proper so first of all we will manage the names the formula will be plus or equal to trim bracket open we will click on name we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter now we will drag this down all the extra spaces got removed through trim but names are still not proper now we will click over here and the formula will be plus or equal to proper bracket open we will click on the first name we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter now we will drag this down now all the names got in proper format now i want all the names in upper case so the formula will be plus or equal to upper bracket open we'll click on first name we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter now we will drag this down now i want all the names in lower case and the formula will be plus or equal to lower bracket open we'll click on first name we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter now i'll drag this down so all the names got in lower case in case you want to delete all these names it can't be done directly if i'll delete all the names from here let's see what's going to happen all the things got vanished i'll undo this so we will have to copy this Control c or command c we'll click over here we'll right click the mouse paste special values now we can delete all these names perfect let's see another formula concatenate over here i have got first name and last name and i have to combine both the names so the formula will be plus or equal to concatenate bracket open text one first name will be our text one comma text two last name will be our text two we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter both the names got combined but there is no space between two names or between first name or last name so let's see what can be done we'll delete this plus or equal to concatenate bracket open text one we will select the first name comma double inverted comma space double inverted comma close so double inverted comma is our text two comma text three last name will be our text three we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter now we got space we'll select all and we'll press ctrl d or we can drag it down let's see another formula large over here we have got products and total sales and i want to know the biggest number in all the sales so the formula will be plus or equal to large bracket open ra we will select this comma k we will put one as we want to know the first biggest number we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter 
So this is our first biggest number. In case I want to know my second biggest number, we'll go to formula bar, we'll remove one and we'll put two. Enter. So this is our second biggest number. In the same way, if I'll remove two and we'll put three, this is our third biggest number. Let's see another formula. Small. Here we want to know smallest number. The formula will be plus or equal to small bracket open RA. We will select all the numbers or all the sales, comma, K. We will put 1. We will close the bracket and we will hit enter. So our first smallest number is 1350 or 13,050. In case I want to know my second smallest number, we will go to formula bar, we will remove 1 and we will put 2. So this is our second smallest number. Let's see another formula. Roman. Here I have got numbers and I want Roman of all the numbers. So the formula will be plus or equal to Roman bracket open number. I'll click on the number, we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. Now I can drag this down. Let's see another formula. If over here I have got employee names, items, total sales and reward. And I have got two criteria. The employees whose sales are above 50,000 will get mobile as reward. And the employees whose sales are below 50,000 will get mouse as reward. I'll click over here and the formula will be plus or equal to if bracket open total sales is greater than 50,000 comma if the sales will be above 50,000 they are going to get mobile so I'll put double inverted comma mobile double inverted comma close comma if it will not be above 50,000 means it will be below 50,000 what they are going to get they are going to get mouse so I'll put double inverted comma mouse double inverted comma close bracket close and I'll hit enter and over here the reward is as mobile. I'll drag this down. So somewhere we can see mobile and somewhere we can see mouse. Let's see another formula. Left. I want three characters from left. Over here I have got total six characters and I want three characters from left. So the formula will be plus or equal to left bracket open. We'll click over here. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. So we got M. So why I got M? Because I haven't given any criteria. We'll delete this plus or equal to left bracket open we we'll select our text comma number charts or number characters so we want three characters i'll put three we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter so we got m o n we'll drag this down perfect let's see another example or let's see another formula right over here we want three characters from right plus or equal to right bracket open text i'll click over here comma number charts or number characters i want three characters so i'll put three we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter i got three last characters or three characters from right we'll double click over here perfect let's see another formula over here we will see now today yesterday and tomorrow from now we get current time and current date or today's date so the formula will be plus or equal to now bracket open bracket close we don't have to insert anything in between now I'll hit enter. So we got today's date and current time today. From today we can get today's date plus or equal to today bracket open bracket close and I'll hit enter. So I got today's date yesterday plus or equal to today bracket open bracket close minus one enter. So we got today's date tomorrow plus or equal to today bracket open bracket close plus one enter so we got tomorrow's date let's see another formula dated if i have got date of birth over here and from date of birth i want to take out year month and day so the formula will be plus or equal to dated if bracket open we will click on date of birth comma we want to subtract this from today so we will put today bracket open bracket close comma we have to take out year so i'll put double inverted comma y double inverted comma close bracket close and I'll hit enter. So we got the figure as 28 years month plus or equal to dated if bracket open. We will click on date of birth comma today bracket open bracket close comma double inverted comma y m double inverted comma close bracket close and we will hit enter. So it's 28 years and 10 days day plus or equal to dated if bracket open we'll click on date of birth 
comma today bracket open bracket close comma double inverted comma m for month d for day double inverted comma close bracket close and we will hit enter so a person who is born on 20th july 95 today his age is 28 years 10 months and 4 days let's see bonus tips create drop down list over here i have to create drop down list and we are going to create drop down list in two ways we have to create the drop down list of products so i'll select from top to bottom we'll go to data we'll come to right and over here we get the option of data validation we will click on the drop down and we'll select list source we will take this to right in source we will select all the products from top to bottom in case you want to select your source from another sheet you can now we will do okay and our drop down list got created now we will see second way we will select this we will go to data data validation from here we will select list source over here we will type manually laptop mouse keyboard in this way we will have to type name of all the products the characters what we can type over here is up to 250 characters now i'll do okay and my drop down list got created perfect so you can practice these formulas and i'll come up with some advanced formulas in next video i'll provide link of this file in description box in case you want to download you can i'm sure you must have loved the video please don't forget to like share and subscribe see you soon with a new topic till then bye bye